is breaking news. Yes, natural glass flaring or burning is commonly used in parts of the United States to dispose of uh, gas byproducts from oil extraction. The flares combustion converts hydrocarbons to carbon dioxide and water, which lessens the climate impact and reduces the safety concerns of the natural gas on site, but also produces nitrogen oxide that is called NOx. NOx, which includes the highly reactive gases nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide, directly and indirectly impacts the air quality. The Clean Air Act requires the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to regulate nitrogen dioxide. Yeah, the most prevalent from NOx due to its influence on public health and environment. Currently, the EPA gauges NOx emissions from players using emission factors, a static value multiplied by act activity data provided by the flare operator. Despite the spread of flaring practices across the US, few assessments have directly measured how much NOx flaring operations truly produce. As a part of the fuel project which aims to provide data-driven updates to US oil and gas emissions estimates, a University of Michigan-led research team measures NOx production from real-world natural gas flares. The research team collected data from three regions, Eagle Ford in Texas, Parmeon in Texas and New Mexico, and Bacan in North Dakota, which together produce more than 80% of gas volumes flared in the US. A small aircraft equipped with high precision instruments flew close to the ground in this region, intercepting the mixed combustion plume from flares. NOx flaring emissions were estimated for each region using observationally derived emissions factor from 480 airborne intercepts along with region based estimates of flaring gas volume. Using an airborne air approach allowed us to sample flares over large geographical areas and capture a variety of operations condition without requiring ground access to the sites, said co-author Zenevi Plan, an assistant research scientist of climate and space sciences engineering at the University of Michigan. This highlights the importance of measuring emission sources under real-world operating conditions, said Plan. Although the median emission factor for each region was within the range of values used by the regulatory agency in Texas. Some flares generated NOx at much higher rates with 20 to 30% of the flares responsible for 80% of basin white flaring NOx emissions. High emission flares brought up the average emissions factor in the Bacan and Parmenian region 2 to 2 to 3 times larger than the value used by the API. Our measurements show that some flares emit excessive amounts of NOx and that these flares will have greater air quality impact than currently understood, said co-author Eric A. Cord, an associate professor of climate and space sciences engineering at the University of Michigan. Reduced air quality could impact the health of workers on site along with the estimated 7.6 million Americans that live within a mile of active oil and gas wells. For the regions observed in this study, 5 lakhs people live within 5 kilometers of a flare, a distance associated with an increased risk of preterm birth. This work combined with previous results from the fuel project on methane emissions from flare source that reducing the volume of glass flare will have greater climate and air quality benefits than previously realized, added code.